special news bulletin, President Roosevelt is dead. The president died of a cerebral hemorrhage. All we know so far what we've tried to do with this exhibition is uh, do a complete look at Harry Truman's life and his presidency. And uh, it's been a five and a half year project, comes in at about $30 million. And we've completely redone the exhibits in the museum. Um, now the exhibits show Harry Truman's life from birth to death. And uh, it also includes a lot more in-depth material about his presidency. One of the critical things about the Truman presidency is that he had to make so many critical decisions. And where I'm standing right now, it's uh, sort of the centerpiece of the exhibit showing a large globe and the many, many challenges that Truman had to face uh, immediately after World War II. Uh, the United States was the, one of the only countries that emerged from World War II wealthier than when it went in. Uh, meanwhile, around the world, uh, countries had been devastated by war. Uh, there was famine, there were power vacuums as the colonial empires were collapsing. And so Truman had to deal with all of these things at the same time and decide what's the United States going to do. And so this room uh, really illustrates that. We want to put people into 1945, so show President Truman um, first becoming vice president mm -hmm. and then his very short 82 days as vice president and then becoming president and really letting people understand where the nation was in that moment. So you get to show see images of, of battles on the home front and battles on both the European and the Asian fronts in the war um, and then see people questioning who is this man who is now in charge of our country. Well this is the Red Scare exhibit and it also is our Korea exhibit and those two issues really were very important in Harry Truman's second term as President of the United States. This Red Scare exhibit talks about the domestic aspect that is the uh, conflict uh, and the rise of communism in the United States. Uh, after World War II uh, and uh, into the 1950s. We're telling the story of the Korean War in a, in a new way. And we're doing that through these wonderful new videos that we have installed here. We're also asking these kind of provocative questions about Korea that you see here on the wall. We're hoping that visitors will leave thinking about these questions about the Korean War and why it mattered. And another important thing we're doing here is telling the war from the veterans perspective, the veterans, the American men and women who served in uniform in Korea. This is one of the most powerful artifacts we have in our collection and it is a Purple Heart uh, that was returned to President Truman by the family of a, of a soldier who was killed in Korea. The family also sent along a, an angry letter to President Truman. The gist of the letter is that the, this is a parent uh, of a man who was killed, his son was killed in Korea. He is very uh, unhappy because he, he feels that President Truman was directly responsible for the loss of our son's life in Korea. And so he's returning this uh, Purple Heart uh, for, as he calls it, Harry Truman's trophy room. This section of the exhibit focuses on 1948 in three areas here in the Recognition of Israel Gallery, and then also in Civil Rights, and then finally the Wishel Stop Tour. And in this area specifically, um, we have a video that was narrated by Judy Woodruff about the uh, founding of the State of Israel. There are a variety of artifacts, including um, the Torah scroll that Haim Wiseman, who became the first president of Israel, gave to President Truman for his support.